I am definitely here at Universal Orlando. I'm going to take you through the tribute store that they currently have. Uh, I'm going to take you through it. It's got some iconic movies that they got some cool merchandise for. Let's take a look. So here is the tribute store. Mega Video, Mega Castle Arcade, and Tribute Theater are the three different sections that we will be traveling through in this tribute store. And look, they got a Bill and Ted phone booth over here at the front. A very iconic. Just, sorry, this payphone is out of order. And look, you got some stuff over here. Do not open till 1985. Lose Cafe. They got a Food Palace sign. Then they got some shoes. Oh, they even got a knight's helmet. I don't know if you can see that. That's a knight's helmet back there. Definitely from the movie Bill and Ted. How cool is that? So let's see, that's a, a cowboy boot, it looks like a knight's helmet. Uh, I can't really make out what that is. Pretty cool, let's go inside. This tribute store is located where they actually used to sell old props from the rides here that they took away. Uh, so it's cool that they reused the property to sell, you know, stuff from their tribute store. I do wish they still had the prop store though because I got that huge Shrek shield from it and I would love to just buy more props from the rides that are no longer active here. That's what the entrance looks like. It's into an old video store. They even got floppy disks over here. Wow. Look at this. Definitely it looks like an old, old video store. Got some Ghostbusters merchandise over here. Down the wall they have like fake VHSs. Some of them are real. Big Ghostbusters on there. They got these socks. Hey, rewind. <laughs> I like this. If it's not rewound, you won't be found. That's, that's the best sign. Over here, you got some Back to the Future stuff, including a model car. Look at this. Oh, that lights up. I like this sign that says about their like, movie club. And the VHS is just like, join, like menacingly. This VHS uh, character is pretty good. Here's some of the fake VHSs they have. They had like a seedy area behind. <laughs> and he just says, get out. There's like just a storage area or something. Oh, you have like an old tribute store sign over there. Got something in there. I don't know what it is. <laughs> they have another sign featuring the VHS, and here it says, This is not a real club, however, Mega Video will continue to rewind your videos as they're not sure what Mr. Tate may do if you do not. Look at this, they got a whole Jaws area over here. Lots of Jaws merch. Emily Island Shark Tours mug. More Ghostbusters merch. Some old school TV setup over here. And then over here they have some AT stuff. Some plushies. Oh, let's see. Oh, featuring the VHS player again. Look at all the stuff behind the scenes here. You know, they actually went out and it looks like they bought a lot of this stuff to see as props and it just works out so good. Making this seem like a real video store. Here's some more E.T. merchandise that they got. Some more Jaws stuff. Alright, we're going into the arcade section now. Here they got Shrek. They got some just generic Universal Studios merchandise. Some other generic merchandise. Doesn't look like you could actually play this. Looks like it's just a screen. They have some very cute headbands here that I've never seen before. Oh my gosh, look at that. Universal's on the next level here with their headbands. Wow, I love it. The theming is on point. They even got like a prize counter back there. 
Let's look at all this. Pretty well themed. Now we're going to the Tribute Theater. Let's see what they got over here. More Ghostbusters merchandise. The firehouse, the library. More statues over here. And look at the theming over here. Wow, look at that. The theming is amazing. Yeah. This is incredible. The amount of detail, the detail that they put in here. Absolutely phenomenal. And this place is only going to last for a few months and then it'll be torn down and they'll build something else here. Some more Ghostbusters stuff over here. They box their briefs. Featuring like the goo. They got ducks over here. Wow. I guess these are like the new Funko Pops, but they're ducks. Hmm. Jaws merchandise. Cool little coffee cup. And they got a backpack over here that's pretty cute. Another poster you can take a picture with in the background. And more Back to the Future stuff. And then as you exit, you got a couple movie posters. The Thing, American Graffiti, and 1941 here. Be cool if they had the Thing maze. And then here's the exit. We're back on the main street. All right, that's it for the tribute store. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's just a short little video. I'll be back. They have more tribute stores that come out every, you know, few months. So, yeah, stay tuned. See you later.